another episode of the Cumbria Chamber of Commerce podcast. I'm here with um, Martin Norris and Claire McLean from Realize HR, and we have partnered with them to offer four amazing workshops about HR, but not HR as you would imagine. So you can take any preconceptions you have about HR, HR workshops out of your mind before we start talking about these. So hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Hello. morning. <laughs> morning. Um, so why are we delivering these workshops is probably the thing to start with and it's probably best to hand over to Claire because it's a little bit hers and Martin's brainchild because I think people look at chambers and think male stale and pale and these workshops are not that so Claire why are we Uh, doing these what are they about okay thanks yeah so what are they about so they are not what you think HR is when you first possibly think of HR Um, I've been in this uh, industry for over 23 years this year. I know I don't look that old. Um, And um, I have seen different sides of the coin, let's say, in terms of how companies view and work with HR. So, and I really sum it up really easily that there's a reactive side to HR when things hit the fan and then uh, there is a proactive side which is all around making sure that you create a great place to work a great working environment that drives high performance and uh, these workshops are really focusing on the latter okay so we understand today in today's market that we have and all these uncertainties we have around you know business continuity and sustainability that people are at the heart of um, every business and we need to make sure that we're driving high performance and attracting and retaining talent so these workshops in a nutshell are around making sure that your company is robust and fit match fit to recruit and retain talent and drive high performance yeah perfect Because I think what's really interesting, especially I see on social media a lot now, and this could just be my algorithm, is there it seems to be this view among employees that the employers don't care and they're not willing to look at different things other than pay, you know, where maybe the business can't afford to pay more, but they're looking at other benefits or they're looking at how the managers manage. And that's just not true, is it? No, it's not at all. Um, Lots of great business owners and leaders uh, and managers are doing everything that they can to be able to attract and retain talent nowadays. Um, And we work with some amazing businesses that are doing really innovative stuff in that space. And I suppose where we come in is for businesses that maybe don't know what you don't know. Um, You know, I've been in this for 23 years, so... I've been uh, that, that's been the, the, the massive part of my life being able to do that and help people do that uh, but not everybody knows what that means in practice so these workshops are around giving real practical tips and advice and insight as to how they can go about doing that if they don't know how to do that mm-hmm. so with that in mind what are the titles of the workshops Martin, I'll okay. hand over to you for that one. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we have four workshops in the HR Not What You Think It Is series, um, and these cover topics that business leaders often tell us are most important to them. Um, so in a nutshell, that's how do we attract, how do we retain, how do we get the most from our people? Um, so what do we need to be doing as businesses to be branded an employer of choice and how do we create positive and nurturing environments so that our people not only stick around uh, but actually love what they do Um, so all of our workshops are designed to help you help take you on this journey I guess and that all starts with recruitment Um, so our first event is on Wednesday 5th of October and this is attracting the best people the real deal Um, So what we're trying to do here, and it's the same for all of the workshops, is to actually provide some real tangible insights and takeaways that can be used immediately to put you in better stead when it comes to recruitment. So, for instance, I know a big bugbear for me and Claire 
are organizations that are still using long-winded application forms because let's be honest we're all just too busy for it uh, the idea that someone's going to print or fill in sign this form scan it submit it completely outdated so we want to be making sure that the experience is as easy and as slick as possible and that's what we'll be taking you through um, and it's the same story in our follow-up session which is a free webinar on hr technology how you can use tech to make that employee experience that much better and that much more straightforward. From there, we'll be back into person sessions, in-person sessions in November, um, and what I'd like to think is our really subtly titled, Hand on Heart, Are You a Great Manager? <laughs> Where we'll be looking at all the do's and don'ts of people management, um, and then rounding off the series in January, discussing all things employee retention, um, and what we've just been touching on there, how it's not just about the money, um, but it's all those high value, meaningful things that you can offer as a business that enables you to really sustain that low employee turnover. Great. And I think everyone will agree, listener, that is not what you think HR is going to be. You know, we do the standard HR sessions like employment law reviews and mm -hmm. what happens if you need to do a disciplinary because things like that do happen. But there's so much more that you can do in terms of working on the business and working on your staff rather than working in the business and getting swallowed up in that. So I'm, re I'm really, really looking forward to these. And, you know, I'm a people manager, so I'm really looking forward to uh, hand on heart. Are you a great manager? Because I think no matter how good you are, or how good you think you are, you can always improve. So that'll be interesting. There might be some home truths for me in that too. Um, so you've done a lot of these now and you, you this is how Realize work, right? They, you look at HR a little bit differently. So everyone wants to know horror stories, but can you talk about or give us some examples of where you've worked with organizations who've focused on these topics and they've been really successful? Yeah, of course. Um, so, uh, and I think just going back to your earlier point there in terms of your existing HR workshops that you've put on around the disciplinaries and, and things like that, they go, they are needed, right? So they are absolutely required. Um, and lots of businesses need to know all of that bread and butter stuff. Um, but the stuff that we do, like we've just talked about, um, I'll give you a good example. So in the last six months, we've been working with um, Scottish Care and we've been who are um, a, a professional body in Scotland that support uh, the delivery of care services, um, care at home and care home services. And we've been working with a number of uh, those providers in Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, and we developed a programme called the Bounce Back Better programme. So if you can imagine, they've just gone through two years of hell with COVID. We can only imagine what the care home sector has been like if we haven't worked in it. Uh, it was pretty traumatic. Um, well, it was very traumatic. And um, the Bounce Back programme was exa doing exactly what we're going to share with, uh, with your members uh, during these workshops. We delivered a, a recruitment workshop with the, 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 the service providers, um, focusing on how to attract talent. So if you think post-COVID, uh, lots of people exited the industry. They didn't want to work in it anymore because it was very traumatic but they've still had to recruit and backfill those roles. Um, and in a post-COVID world, that has been very, very tricky. So we've been helping them to uh, think differently as to how they market themselves, um, how they recruit their internal processes. Um, so we did a, a, a lovely recruitment workshop on that. Uh, then we took their managers through a series of one-to-one -one, uh, management uh, training. Uh, and that allowed managers to um, share their challenges in a really safe place. And what it did, it allowed them to get some insight and some tips and tricks to um, better manage people in the workplace for better outcomes. Um, and then the third element to the Bounce Back Better programme was all around well-being, actually. So, and this ties in with uh, people don't just stick around uh, for money. They, they'd like to work in a healthy environment. So if you think, you know, care environment, post-COVID, very traumatic. Uh, the, the people that have worked in these situations probably not looked after themselves as much as they should have because they've been looking after others during this um, time. So we took them on a series of, um, of work looking at how healthy they are, uh, body and mind, 
um, and um, and help them with some one-to-one -one coaching, etc., and really focused on on their well-being. So these are the types of things that we've been doing with organisations to make their organisation, their business, more resilient. Uh, whether they're coming out of COVID or whether they're entering into uncertainty, making sure that businesses are resilient and sustainable for the future is going to be key and, and top of the agenda for a lot of companies that we work with. So um, I think that maybe gives you a bit of a flavour and, uh, and, and how these workshops are, have been tied into a, um, a recent um, uh, client that we, a number of clients that we've been working with. So what sort of things do you think attendees of these workshops will take away? What are the main things? Uh, so I'll take this, Claire. So I think that, and I think we've touched on this as, as, as um, already in terms of who we are at Realize. And I think there's theory and then there's actions. And I think we're much more about the actions in that we want business leaders to be able to walk away and start to quickly implement some of the activities that we'll be discussing. So what we'll be looking at is, I would say, it's sort of the low hanging fruit, low cost, no nonsense that you can really start to embed within the business um, from, from day one, really. So um, I know that we've already mentioned, for instance, about offering employees more than just an attractive salary as part of their overall package. Um, and of course, you know, money is really important and it'll always be a factor. Um, but there's so much more that we can be doing as businesses to help feed people feel valued um, and to be honest, also to make them feel human. Um, so just looking at our business at Realize, for instance, so we offer two wellbeing days in addition to annual leave where we ask employees to go away and do something that actually makes them feel good. So that could be walking, it could be spending time with family, a spa, whatever it is, just whatever actually gives them a brain, uh, their brain a rest and actually makes them feel re-energized. Um, we also ask our staff to book in two days worth of charity or community-based activity. Um, it's important to us, obviously, as a business that we give back, but we also want our employees to feel really embedded within their community and actually be able to help out wherever sort of they see fit. Um, so we'll be touching on a whole different range of ideas and hopefully sort of inspire um, different ways of getting the best out of your people um, and actually making your organisation just a nicer and better place to work. That sounds awesome. And when you talk about charity, I will warn anyone that if you stand still around Martin long enough, he will sell you a tree for the Realise HR forest. Uh, philanthropy is strong at Realise HR. <laughs> It is. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. The more trees, the better. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So there'll be a really cheesy picture of me standing next to our chamber tree at some point on LinkedIn. I'm sure everyone can uh, can laugh at that. Uh, but we are really excited about it because, yes, Cumbria is beautiful and the more trees and the more greenery we can add, the better. So these sessions, we're hosting them all at the Roundthorn Country House Hotel in Penrith. So it's nice and central. The first one about attracting the best people is on the 5th of October. And that is £10 plus that to attend teas, coffees, refreshments available. The second one, as Martin said, is HR Tech. Easy for you, amazing for your employees. That's a free online webinar. So anyone can register for that. We have Tuesday the 15th of November, which is Hand on Heart, Are You a Great Manager? Again at the Round Thorn and £10 plus fat. And Tuesday the 17th of January, it's not just about money, people stick around for more meaningful things. So these are open to anyone. You don't have to be a chamber member to come to these. You don't have to be a chamber member to come to the free online webinar about HR tech. We're opening this up for everybody because we think at this such an important time, especially coming out of COVID and with all of the changes in the world right now, it's really important that all businesses can access this. So please do come along and get involved and come and meet the team at Realize and meet the team at the Chamber too and figure out how we can help you. Because the Chamber's been going for an awfully long time. I think everyone's heard of a Chamber of Commerce, but Realize has been in business now for about six years. Is that right, Claire? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But you said you've been in HR for 25. Yeah, 20, 20, 23 years this year. Yes, 23 years. Yeah. Oh, crikey. Now, you definitely don't look old enough to have been in HR for <laughs> 23 years. So I'm, I'm only assuming that you started when you were like 12. But <laughs> what what inspired you to, to start Realize? Uh, well, um, 
I, I've always worked alongside people, uh, obviously, you know, in a HR career, that's what we're, we're people, people, right? Um, and my vision and my purpose, my personal purpose is to leave um, a legacy really whereby I feel that I've helped as many people as I can uh, in the workplace. I just think that we work an awful lot of time in our life that's such a big part of our life that actually if we don't enjoy it and we, we don't thrive on it and um, then it must be it must be awful. So I just really want to make sure that I'm helping people be have a better working life. Um, and what that does, actually, what that does for businesses, if, the, if we can help people have a better working life by working with businesses, they're also going to benefit from this. So the economy is going to benefit from, benefit from it. You know, the community, um, you know, everybody's going to benefit from that. So so that's that's why I set up Realize HR. So it was a it was a real personal purpose. Um, and now the business has grown and we've got nine of us in the business, you know, soon to be 10, hopefully. So um, and, and I think I've managed to find people with a similar purpose to, to, to mine, which is which is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the reason that I set up and we're, we're going strong. We, 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 we love to chat to um, lots of different businesses about their people challenges, because trust me, after 23 years of doing this, I am never surprised uh, at the challenges that businesses face and the way that they work and the way that they have to manage their business, um, how, the, how much they have to work to commercially drive their business, what impact that has on people. Um, um, you know, so we, we love to learn about uh, diff different businesses. You know, it's, it's really great. So if anybody wants to get in touch and share what their business is all about and um, if they need some people support, then come along to the workshops, you know, first and foremost and, and uh, you know, have a chat with us and listen to what we have to say, because I'm hopeful that there'll be some real nuggets in there that you can take away. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm really looking forward to them. So I can't wait. Please do go ahead and book. I will put the booking link in the show notes so anyone can book on. But if you want to go and have a look and find out more detail, you can find everything on cumbriachamber.co.uk. It's all on there underneath upcoming events. Or of course, you can email me at eve at cumbriachamber.co.uk. I'll be more than happy to give you some more information. But thanks, Claire and Martin, for your time today. And I'm really looking forward to these events. So I can't wait to see you there.